Yeah, man. Man. Good morning. Today's February 24th, 2021. Today's Mom Duke's birthday. Shout out to Mom Duke for a B day. Feel me? It's a lot of bullshit going on. Birds tripping. Too early. Underly. Hey, what up? Yeah, it's, it's too early for the bullshit, huh? you know what I mean? Called my baby mom just to talk to my son, and that's, it's always, a, every time I call that hoe, it's a problem. It's like, it's crazy, bitch. She just want to argue with me. She one of them girls that get off on argument. She love that shit. That's, you know, that toxic behavior, she love that. I've come to understand that, like, she like that kind of shit, man. She like to argue, all that. She want to, like... She like that little mental war game and shit, that back and forth shit. She like that kind of stuff. She would just see, she just want a nigga to put her in a place. Most girls like that kind of stuff, like just to just talk to them aggressively and put them in their place, like. And I'm like, yo, man, you can't even be respectful with some of these girls. This shit crazy. You feel me? Like, it's crazy. Like, she just... She love that toxic shit, man. That bitch would go from one topic to another. You a sorry excuse for it. And I'm like, yo, man. I didn't call for this. It's like, same thing you just got to accept already. We both know we not together. We both know we don't want to be together. All right, that's a fact. Now we still got to work together. <laughs> it's funny how we don't want to be together. We both have that agreement of po- uh, uh, poem, but we still got to work together because we have a child together. And that's where the problem comes. And it's like, that shit is crazy. It's like, yo. That shit cray cray, man. And that's where the hard part is. At. It's like, yo, she acting like the reason why you got to keep the child because that's how it is, my nigga. Like, you held the child for nine months. So it's only right that the child stays with you. Plain and simple. But women are trying to use that shit as an advantage. I ain't saying, I ain't gonna say woman, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But she's trying to use that as an advantage to say that, oh, you dead B, you don't come around. Truth. There's truth to that. I do, I'm not a dead beat though. I don't think so. Because I still pay child support. I've been paying child support four years straight. I ain't never missed a week or a payment. You feel me? Never. She knows that. She can't even use that as an excuse. No. Now she's telling me, man, that money ain't shit. The court, you feel me? The court, <laughs> we went to court and this is what the court decided. You feel me? We had an agreement at first and she was like, you wasn't, you, you wasn't meeting up our agreement. That's why I took you to court. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not even going to go through that conversation on what happened in between when we went to court and everything else like that. Bum. That was the agreement. Now you getting paid that money. Now you telling me. That money ain't shit, but I never miss a payment, though. You feel me? I make sure that that shit get paid for every fucking year for four years. I'm trying to do that shit for until I got to stop paying. And it's like a prison sentence because you know how that shit goes, man. You know. Like, you know the de- She knows the demons that I'm already fighting out here. She been there since day one. You feel me? Nigga been going through this shit for years. My son is four now, so she know the demons that I've been fighting. She was one of the demons I had. I was sleeping next to the enemy, for God's sakes. So it's like, you know what I mean? Have you ever been mad? Can you imagine sleeping next to someone who hates you sometimes and you didn't even know? You feel me? Shit like that. And that person could attack you in your, in your sleep and everything else like that. You didn't know? You waking up thinking everything is all right? You feel me? So when we start being honest about a certain situation, she talking about, I'm a, how about we just put it out there and let people see you? For I'm like, yo, put it out there. It's like people will see it for what it is. You... Sh- People will only treat you about uh, what, what they think you know. They, the information is very limited on how they see the world through you. Because they think this is what you know. So from my an, uh, analogy and everything else like that, this is what is going to happen. No. It, the whole information is out there, known and unknown. I'll come out looking like an angel. You feel me? Plain and simple. It doesn't even get better than that. It doesn't get better than me, honestly. Truthfully speaking. You feel me? Like, I'm that nigga for real. Like, I make sure my shit, I make sure, I, I, every time I came over there, she knows. And her daughter will be mad happy because I'm over there because she knows that, oh, this is fun time. 
we about to have OD amount of fun because I'm about to take them out and spoil them and everything else like that. I have no limits with them. You feel me? Like, because I feel like they're kids. Like, all right, mom, y'all go ahead and do what y'all need to do. So she do. She was about to be the queen of the world, and she was just hella fun about it. You feel me? But it's like baby moms always look for some simple argument that she want to put up. This, by the way, it's mad sunny outside. It feels like it's in the afternoon already. That shit crazy. Anyway, she looks for the simplest argument. Like, shit that don't even make sense. She arguing over dumb shit. She arguing over me. The money ain't shit. The money ain't nothing. That I'm like... This is the same woman that was complaining when I was spending more time with him. She was complaining the opposite way. It doesn't matter if he ain't got no pampers and food to eat. Now, it's like, you know... It's not, I can't provide both at the same time because a nigga, if I'm spending more time with him and I'm in another state, she was in New Jersey, I'm in New York, you feel me? And she want to complain about me fucking bitches in New Jersey. I'm like, I can't even remember fucking any bitch in New Jersey. I really can't. I was thinking about it hard. I don't know what they told her. Anyway, I really can't. I don't, I'm still thinking about it. I wait. It's a lot of bitches, but I never fuck any bitches. I can't remember. Anyway, look. When I was spending, when I was coming to New Jersey, spending a lot of time in New Jersey with her and everything else like that, I had to miss work, and I was taking care of my child and everything else like that. That's when we had that small, a few months of agreement. Then after that, when he became one year old, she took me to court. Boom. He's about to be five this year, so she took me to court because it's like I was spending too much time with him. And she felt like I was, if I'm spending time with my child, then why do I have to give you money? Because I'm already taking care of the needs already. I'm spending mad time with him. You feel me? So if I don't give you the full amount, that means I'm spending that other amount when I'm with him already. But anyway, she took me to child support bomb. Now I got to go to work and work extra hard just to cover up the expenses because they're taking money out of my check now, right? Bomb. Now she's complaining the opposite way now. I'm you, like... You're not spending enough time with him. I'm like, yo, you can't have both. Like, we're not together. I'm in two, we in two different states. Now we was apart because I'm in Cali now. And now you still complain. I'm like, yo, this is what you wanted from the beginning. What you want me to do? Feel me? You can't be complaining about things that you, 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 you set up. Like, because of your attitude and shit. She drove me, she literally drove me away. Now she want, she want, she want to make it seem like it's my, I'm the one and I'm the bad guy and this, that. I'm like, I ain't got time for I don't have time to be arguing with you, man. You a toxic person, you feel me? All I wanted to do is just talk to my son and everything else like that, but she want to make it seem like I'm the bad guy. I don't mind being the bad guy, but as long as my son is not being told a lie to, you feel me? You feel me? I just want him to at least have a picture of me or know me through the conversations that we have because he already know me when we do go out. But, yeah, she, she's telling me, she's telling me that She's trying to protect my son. How you trying to protect my son? And you had a whole nother nigga who had a key to your house. And today they're not even together. <laughs> like, I, like, fuck is you talking about? Like, she's just a hypocrite. When you take a look at the clear picture of it, I'm like, what? Well, she talking about why? Are you jealous? I'm like, yo, I'm jealous. But just don't tell me that I'm a toxic to my own son because you don't want him around me. But yeah, you have strangers. How many boyfriends you have since then? Like, come on, man. Let's look. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. That's why I be telling niggas, stop playing with me, because niggas be talking to me thinking they, uh, they only limit me to the amount of information that they think I know. So they try to treat me from that realm of thinking. And I'm like, yo, I know more. I, just because I don't say nothing doesn't mean I do not know. Like, I know more than you telling me right now. Like, fuck, nigga. You complain about me coming over because you, you, don't, you don't want me to confuse him. But yet you... Like, one, one time I'm over there and a whole nother nigga came over with a key to the house. I mean, we wasn't together, so I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, I didn't even ask who this nigga was. I didn't even ask her. Nothing. He just came over there and went to her room. Type. I'm like, ah, that's how we play? Like, I, <laughs> I'm like, ah, right, cool. Like, you feel me? I don't give a fuck just because you heard me. You heard that I was fucking some bitches in New Jersey. Acting like New Jersey is her state type of shit. I'm like, yeah, you dumb. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. But now you telling me that you don't want to confuse my son. Yeah, you don't want to confuse my son because you got too many niggas coming in and out of that house. And that's why he, he probably will be confused about who is who. 
If a, if your child is running to the next nigga and saying daddy, then it's like, yo, bitch, you got a problem. Like, you, like what are you doing? How many niggas you got coming in the house? Now you blaming on the baby father. Well, if he was more in his life, niggas can't be more in his life. I can't be coming over there and being disrespected. That's one. Two, I can't be coming over there. I ain't watching out for the dogs in the hood. I'm watching out for my own baby mother. Like, yo, this bitch crazy. You feel me? Like, you literally in the enemy's house type shit. You're sleeping next to the enemy. You feel me? Like, let's be for real, man. That niggas is crazy, man. That's why I had to quit her, because, like, it didn't make no sense. It's like, her argument didn't make sense. She was just only, she only, she was only pulling me down. She was toxic as fuck. I offered many, many times to be, like, to be closer. Don't you think I could have been in New Jersey right now instead of being all the way in California? Several times I tried to do that, but it just was not going to work out. Like, she just... She, now she want to compare herself to me. Bro, you're not on my level. And I'm like, what the hell is this about? Why are you comparing yourself to me? And I'm like, what are we talking about? I'm calling for my son. you talking about you're not on my level. I'm on the whole other level. I'm like, if you're on the whole other level, give me my money back, man. If they're going to shimmy the shit out of my check, I need my money back then. If, that's, if I'm not on your level. You feel me? Give me my money back. I don't give a fuck. Give it to me. You're not on my level, right? Come on, man. Hey, bitch is crazy. Anyway, man. Good morning, man. That's my morning. That's my morning conversation. I call my mom. Happy birthday. You feel me? Then I'm like, she telling me call my baby mom. I'm like, oh, Lord. I've been calling and she not picking up. So I'm like, I'm going to try again. She's like, all right, bye. I called her. She finally picked up. Talking about she does not know. She doesn't know that this is my number. I'm like, what? We still using that excuse? Like, I done left her a message several times saying that this is my number. She was like, okay, I'll save it. Then she telling me today, well, I didn't get to save it, and I thought I was the bill collector. I'm like, come on, from California? Like, stop it. Like, nobody uses that excuse anymore. <clears throat> These are the things that I got to deal with. So, I mean, I can't call it a mistake, but God damn, it's a mistake. She's a mistake. Fuck that. She is a mistake. She's toxic. I'm looking back on all the years that, not even a year, all the times that we was together. And things that I've wasted in my life. And the fact that we brought a child along, yeah, that's, it's, that's bad. That's, that's, that's bad, bad. I'm mine like a bar. I'm mine like a man. I'm mine like a man. <laughs> She's a hater, man. She... Have you ever had your baby mom hate on you like that? She's fucking hating on me, man. She's jealous. Several times she tried. She be trying. I be like, yo, you know she was. She she hated me when. I tell her I'm coming over to see my son and everything else, and we in the house. I'm getting them ready. I actually brought them back from taking them out to go eat and everything. I'm taking her daughter out, and that's not even my daughter. You feel me? I didn't have to do all that. You feel me? I took her, I took them out. I brought them back. We come in the crib. I'm telling her, I right, look, man. I play around. I'm telling my son I'm about to leave. He's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, right, I'm gonna stay for a little bit. I didn't want to stay in the house like that, but I'm like, right, I'm gonna stay for a little bit. Big like us. Every time I stay in a crib with y'all, she starts the ripping and everything else like that. You feel me? So I'm like, ah, right, I don't want to end up having some kind of any kind of intercourse just to fix a problem and have a long-term solution of problems. You feel me? That's what usually happens when the argument starts. So I'm like, ah. Right, let me let me let me stay here for a little bit. A whole nother nigga walk in the crib. I'm like that. I'm, like, <laughs> like, I'm looking like, oh okay. Like the kids was in shock. I'm like, oh this is oh this is normal to you. And my mama, oh this is normal. Oh. She didn't even explain herself or nothing. But now you telling me that I don't want to confuse my child. I'm like bitch, who who believes? Nobody believes that lie. Nobody.
And that's only t- one that I know of that has a kid. And there's other niggas, even my own man's and them, I keep hearing about some shit like that. And I'm like, yo, stop playing, man. I just, I made a mistake. Now I'm trying to roll my mistake and just spend time with my son, and I have to deal with you. Fuck if we talking about. That bitch, like, I don't know what I was thinking on that day. I really don't know what I was thinking, bro. I, <laughs> like, she crazy, bitch. She talking about. She stupid. How you gonna tell me that? Like, that bitch is dumb as hell. Feel me? She's like, you the worst excuse for a father. And I'm like, that's just pointed. You just, she just got to throw, she, she, she want to say any and everything. She knows that that's like my joy type shit like that. She want to say any and everything just to see if I'm going to hurt. She's like, let me just say anything to him so just to hurt his feelings. I'm like, ah, right, man, you just keep going, keep talking. I right, just keep talking. She done took over my whole program. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you just keep talking, like, you feel me? She know that's the joy, man. She know when I come over there, I'm like, she, I just, I be, she, I got to walk through the hood, mm-mm, the meanest face on. Ah, uh, this fucking trip. It costs so much money just to get there. This is all the way somewhere in Jersey. Then when I get there, my, but when I see him, my days light up. It's like I forget about everything else. So she knows this. So she try to use that nigga as a weapon against me and try to restrict him type shit. Want me to pay more? Like you feel me? This is not. This is this is not a wholesale bitch. You feel me? It definitely is not a wholesale. Like she tripping, man. She really, really is tripping. So that shit got me aggy talking about I don't want him to get confused. It's like how many men? How many? Many men. Fifty cents. All of them, Jabu, all them niggas was in there. Like I'm like, yo, what is wrong with you? Like I didn't even give a fuck about none of that because we wasn't together, but confused. What are you talking about? Well, I don't know what you been hearing, I don't want people talking about. Nobody talking, it's your mess. Your mess is coming out. That's what it is. Talking about some bitches. Man, I don't sleep with no girls. All them girls that wanted me in Georgia, I couldn't even sleep with them anyway. Couldn't. It was too close connected to her. Because we used to work at the same place. So, I mean, put two and two together, you would know. We used to work at the same place. So, we knew the same females and everything else like that. You feel me? And that's just the truth. We just knew the same females. And most of those females wanted me. Honestly. Like, I done had females pull up on me just like I'm walking to work. What's up? Where you, where you going? You know, you, like, ah, call me. You want to hang out? Like, you feel me? And, I, and they know each other. Scary shit. I'm like, I can fuck this bitch right now. Like, I could, she could take me home, and I'm blowing her brains out. And bitch is way better than me. I don't know why I pick her. <laughs> yeah, she way better than my baby mom. You feel me? But, man, that shit crazy, man. That shit is crazy. I guess that my DNA had to go through her DNA just to make my son for some strange reason. We can't. I can't even question it. I can't question it. But she worried about the wrong things in life and talking about my son. I'm like, yo, all I suggested was, she said I'm controlling. All I suggested was, I'm like, 15 minutes of class is not enough. Because that kid is already intelligent. So 15 minutes of class a day, they're just trying to limit his intelligence. They they jealous for the kid, too. That shit's sad. Don't involve kids into something that has nothing to, it has nothing to do with, feel me? This shit ain't got nothing to do with him. My problems have nothing to do with him. So I never understood that. I think that's very cowardly. The parents be training their kids to hate other people's kids. That's bad. That's that's a parent that does not love their kids. They don't even love themselves enough to love their kids, to teach their kids that kind of stuff. You feel me? And that's kind of sad and pathetic for you to teach your kids to hate another kid. This is the reason why you can't really, like, you got to know yourself before you even get into any form of activity. Because 
you are your parents, literally. Like, you feel me? You can only teach them who you are. So if you're in a position where you're hitting somebody while they sleep and everything else, you're more likely to for your kids to repeat that kind of behavior. And it gets worse with each behavior, you feel me? So I'm like, yo, 15 minutes of learning a day for his school is not enough. I think, you know what I mean? I think um, this, is there any other activities that he can get into? And that's how the argument started. You see, you got a problem. You very controlling. That I'm like, how am I controlling? I'm making suggestions for her. I'm like, I'm not controlling. I'm just concerned that he's only, you not here, so what the fuck are you talking? I'm like, yo, I know I'm not there, but financially, you know what I mean? They take him with the other check, you feel me? Like, can I at least put suggestions in there, you feel me? In the past, it's not like I haven't tried with this girl, bro. I done told her that I'm going to pay her money just to, my son has his own room. She has her, she has a, a whole, uh, like a house. And she, if she's not working, the state pay. I hate to put her business out there. Anyway, yeah, that's a little too much talk. Anyway, she has a financial situation that works for itself. You feel me? So she's not really in the struggle of, oh, I got to pay rent. And I got to know, like, when I, when, whatever my child support, the payment is, is going straight to that kid. You feel me? And I'm paying weekly. So for that week, it should be able to hold that nigga. You feel me? And the one that's not holding, you're supposed to put it aside and put it in the next bank or whatever. And when he first got born, I'm like, yo, me and you should get a joint account where I can, me and you can put money in an account together, but she ain't want to listen. Feel me? So I started, I just decided, yo, let me just sell my 401k and whatever is in there, it will be for him. Then eventually I started growing a habit of starting several different accounts. So I just started spreading my money out and that just became something. And then went into investment and everything else like that. I'm like, ah, right, cool. Like, from that, I start off with, with a good intention. From that good intention, I have gained a habit of wanting to save money and growing money. You feel me? That's because my intention was good because I wanted something for my son that he can hold on to. But she didn't want to listen. She was being selfish and everything else. And how we, she was like, okay, then every time she just throw it off, she just push it up, push it up, push it up. And I'm like, yo, like... I'm like, all right, fuck it, man. Like, I'm going to just have to do this myself. And that's what I started doing, you feel me? Then, out of nowhere, she put me on child support. She didn't even tell me she was putting me on child support. I got home. I got a letter saying I got a pee on court. When I said I got home, I mean I left her crib <laughs> and came home. And it said, I'm like, yo, you put me on. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, damn, I just left your house. So that was very distasteful in my mouth itself. That's why I, I started paying attention. And find out that, yo, you think you sleeping next to the enemy for real. Like, you could die any day. Like, you feel me? Bitch, I kill you, Tyson. She hates you. So, yes, she wanted to dig. But, yes, she hates you. Bitch, crazy. You know what I mean? So, that being said, um, I'm just giving you a rundown because this is something that just came up. You feel me? I'm not saying I'm perfect. Yeah. My only, my only fault, I probably have several fault, but my biggest fault is not spending enough time with him. I could have done more, like, you know, spend a little more time with him and everything else like that. I could have. No lie, I could have went over there. But it's very hard to go see some. Like, he's really, a, like, he, that's, he's a part of her now. So it's very hard for me to even go over there, and I have to deal with that. And I have to deal with the, uh, like, it's a lot of things. And every time I go over there, I, can't, I don't want to stay in that world. So I, I'm taking him out to go eat and everything else. And every time I went over there, that's what I did. I didn't spend that. The only time I spend time when I bring them back and I make sure that they go to sleep, then after that, just me and her, we talk and da da da. But apart from that, I, I never took. If I do take them out, if I don't take them out, we stay in the crib, maybe because it's probably too hot outside or because of COVID 19. When COVID 19 happened, there was a lot of places closed. And I'm like, damn, that shit fucked up a lot. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm uh, we can't, I can't really take you guys out. So we were just in the crib. We might order some food, you know what I mean? Just, you know, regular stuff. So it, it was like, you know, some of the things that she complained about, it's like, it's irrelevant, but like, if we compare it to what she was doing and the things that are known and unknown, come on, man. Some baby mama drama type shit like that. That I, I didn't never thought I would be part of because I'm African and everything. I was like that. I'm like, damn. I'm African. I ain't supposed to be going through this shit. This is not for me. You feel me? I got a whole savage over there. 
And like I was saying, she he's only going she he's growing with her. So he's going to learn most of the things that he's going to learn behavior, attitude, um intentions, your goodwill and everything else is going to come directly from her. I also want to have some form of influence. So that's why I call. But she's telling me, No, you can't call. I'm not I'm not gonna allow you to call and talk to him and I'm like, this is the shit that I gotta fight for four years now. I've been fighting that every time. She getting mad because a nigga like me, I don't back down. I'm not I'm not one of her friends that she could just talk to and act like she can fight them and beat them up because she big she bigger than the rest of them. So I'm like, nah, you're not mm mm you're not gonna do that with me. You feel me? I'll put you in the headlock. And just for the record, I never put her in the headlock. I never put my hands on her in my life. Just in case she try to use something like that, cause she will try to find. She find. She try. She will try. That bitch trying to destroy me by any means necessary. I'm starting to believe in that. Feel me? But she thinks she can intimidate anybody, and my son is gonna grow that kind of attitude too. So when I say my son is attached to her, it's like everything that he sees, he's going to pick up on. So that's why I even hate talking to her on the phone. I'm like, yo, he's dead. Like, he's actually listening on both of us talking. So he's going to pick up on this behavior. And she was like, yeah, yeah, he knows everything. And I, yeah, I told him stuff like that. And I'm like, what kind of mother does that? Like, <laughs> like you're not supposed to tell anything bad. Like, it affects him in so many ways. But she doesn't understand these things. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm not trying to make us to seem the devil and I'm all good. Now, I'm not all good, too. I, I should have done a lot more. I fight through, which I did, honestly. Fuck that, I did, man. I can't diminish myself in my approach. I was really trying the best. Like, I was. Like, I still have good intentions for it and everything else. But when my only problem was, I keep it all the way at 1,000. This is 1,000. Up to now, I'm still not ready for him. You feel me? But I'm pretty sure a lot of people wasn't ready to be a father. I was not. I was, up to now, I'm still not ready to be a father. But I still accepted my responsibility, you feel me? I was not ready when he first came out. I told her, like, I'm definitely not ready. I was already 30. I'm like, he like, but you get older, what do you mean? Yeah, we you know how they talk. I'm like, oh, Lord. I can't. I never dealt with a woman like that. <laughs> Talking out the side of their face. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool, look, man. When I said I wasn't ready, it wasn't like I wasn't ready for a kid. You know what I mean? God always provides. I just wasn't ready to have that connection. I don't know what it was I wasn't ready for. I wasn't ready, but I just wasn't ready. But I, it, it requires a lot of love. Feel me? Responsibilities, caring. You know what I mean? You got to place that person above you type shit like that. Like, your intentions have to be right. Like, you have to carry yourself with madness when you're around your child that you love. So it's like saying things that you want to do. It's probably simple, like you want to say fuck, but then he's there and you don't want him to pick up on this so you don't do type shit like that. It's, I'm not going to teach him, don't do what I do what I say and not what I do. That's not a good practice. You feel me? The kids will pick up on both ends. You can't say some shit like that because... Although they're not gonna do it in front of you, they'll do it behind you. So it's like it's a lot. Of thing, it's a lot of things that is required of me to be in that position. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm definitely not ready. And I can say that even up to now, I'm still not ready for one. Cause it's just a lot of love that you need to give for that individual. And it was like it was very hard for me to do. It's not that I couldn't, it's not that I didn't want to do it, it's like that I didn't have enough in me to give, or I didn't think I was capable of doing so, you feel me? So I told her I wasn't ready and shit like that, but she, it's the, I mean, the decision, it happened already, nature took its course, and he had to come through. The portal was open, and he came through, and I'm like, all right, so when that happened, I was still doing my best, you feel me? But I had to deal with the devil herself, you feel me? <laughs> Not in a direct, not in a bad way, but the way she's been behaving is more like, you know, less than what she is. If you ask less than what you are, then that's what I'll call you. 
So this is what it is now. Like you feel me? I still got every time. I never call her. And even if she, if, when I do say that, I never called you, and she tries to, she's still faking it. And I'm like, yo, just fucking, just be yourself. Just be yourself, just, you know what I mean? Just curse me out, do whatever you need to do. Just, just be yourself. Stop acting like, it's crazy. <sighs> this is what I got to deal with, my niggas. You feel me? This is what I got to deal with, man. I mean, this is what I got to deal with. Yeah, I haven't been. I'm not the best father. Because I'm not comparing myself to anybody else, but my standard of what a, be, a, a good father is supposed to be. I'm just, I'm just not that nigga. And it's not because I'm not next to him. Because truthfully speaking, tr- truthfully speaking, if I was with the right woman, those fathers that used to raise their kids there's fathers in the army that still raise their kids from far distance and see their kids once in a while. There was fathers that was part of the uh, um there's fathers that 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 have that have to get on the road on a truck and everything else. The only difference is that they were a good woman and a woman always gives them information about the father that keeps them strong and keeps them going. But if your baby mom is telling your son about about what you are, and he's a deadbeat, he ain't shit, this, that, and the third. Yes, I know she's telling him that, because the way she speaks to me, that's a fact that he's talking to him right there. You feel me? I know that for a fact. She's putting all that shit in his head. He's going to grow up to hate me type shit. You feel me? So that that just, that's just that. So it's like, you know, I ain't, like, if a, but you can have a woman that's, a stay-at-home mom like she is, because she's been staying at home since I met her. She ain't never held him to a job. So I'm making mom. Every time she starts making money, she thinks she's the queen of the world. Then when that money stops flowing in, she, she starts acting like a peasant. I'm like, yo, bitch, be yourself. Like, regardless of what stage you are in life. Feel me? You got to be yourself. I don't care who you are. You just got to be yourself. Anyway, I can't even talk about this no more. But the message is that there's nothing wrong with a father not being at home at times, as long as he's still in the kids' life somehow, some way. You can still write letters to him, you feel me? You read that through visual, you feel me? Phone calls, um, they have FaceTime and everything else like that. So, there's many ways. There's people that, there's fathers that have jobs, those are contractors who are not always home, but it's the mother that keeps their image alive, you feel me? If the mother's not willing to do that and she working against you, like, you know, bringing other niggas in the house, type shit like that, and she has, she's telling you that the kid is getting confused about who is who, but you, that means she's doing something. She's not happy and she's using that, uh, she's using her own happiness to destroy your image for that child itself. And maybe the child resembles you or looks too much like you, so she's going to use that against you yourself because she knows. So it's very important that we do get the right partner. A woman that is sound. You feel me? It's very, very important that you got to, le- you, as a man, you get a level headed woman. And I can talk because I have made that mistake already. You feel me? It's very, very important that you get a level headed woman. One that does not let her emotions rule her. You feel me? That's why when I get in a relationship, I'm trying to get on the bitch nerves enough to see what kind of person she is when she's, when she's very, when she's radical. So, I mean, I want to see how dangerous she can become. Then when I see that, and I feel like it's reasonable, I'm like, ah, this is the right person. So, it takes time. It really does take time, you feel me? But she's no different than any one of these niggas out here who are trying to hurt me, man. And that's where the problem is, but I got a kid with her and everything else like that. And I'm not trying to shit on her. This is just the truth. You feel me? Like, we got to stop looking at it from a different point of view and sitting and telling people, oh, she's a woman, you're not? Stop it. These bitches will kill you fast. Like, they will, they will bury you. We out here, you playing soft with these bitches all you want. <laughs> like, let them know. Like, you got to let them know straight up. Like, she likes that kind of aggressive shit. She want me to put her on a place. I'm, I, got, I grew out of that. I'm a righteous man now. You know I me? Mean? I am a righteous man. I don't want to talk down upon you because you like toxic 
conversation. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm talking. Like, you feel me? That kind of disrespectfulness. Like, you know, put your foot down. Now, make sound conversation. You know what I mean? Be like, no, I'm the man. And I said, da 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 Some bitches like that kind of shit. It kind of puts them in their place. They be like, oh, okay. It's like, that, I don't want that bitch no more. I don't want that kind of bitch no more. I don't want a bitch that is it's not insecure. I don't want to have to put you in your place. Like, bitch, be in your place. Know where your place is. Submit to your position. Ain't nobody telling you to bow to me. I just want you to know your place, and I know my place, and understand the situation, and know how to, 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 uh, to how do you say, know how to um, use your power. You feel me? Just know how to use your power. Women have a lot of power. Like, allow the man to think that he's in charge, but yet you have all the cards in your hand. That's true. That's a true power for women. I'm like yes, babe. Like it's not. A, it's not even lying. It's more like a, a comforting a man's ego sometimes. You feel me? Saying niggas got a fragile ego, but they they make it look like it's strong. So the best thing for you as a woman to do instead of getting in the way of that is to support him, but act like he's in control. But yet you know that your decision is a little more better. So like yes, babe, you control that. You know, say all the sweet things that you say to him, but. You have you always have the final decision, and he doesn't even know that you made the final decision. Type shit. That's where your power is at. That's your power. Your your power is to make it seem like you know, you, you, you like make it seem like you submit. You, you put yourself in that submissive position, but but yet you are in power. Just like a person who owns or created a company gives the CEO to another person to run his company, putting his trust in that person to run a company. That's the same thing with a woman. The woman is the CEO of the family and yet put the man in charge of the family to run the family because he has a masculine and everything else. But yet she's the one who is the whole family itself. She's literally the egg and everything else that orbit around it. She's like the sun and we are the planet. She's like, well, what do they say? There's a woman at the moon and we are the sun, but it doesn't matter. (laughs) <laughs> what I'm saying is that that's how some women have to operate sometimes. You have to act. You have to submit. Good baby. She don't even know she's babe, but she's babe. Anyway, you have to submit, but yet be in control at the same time. Be wise. Make sure you educate yourself. Um, I'm a phone went dark on me. Yeah, be wise. Make sure that you, yeah, I don't like that. It's showing dark on me. Anyway, be wise. Make sure that you educate yourself. Um, dig like don't let other niggas think for you. I hate bitches that can't think for themselves. I think that's eternal. I need you to have enough minds to think for yourself. Simple thinking. You ain't gotta be Albert Einstein. You feel me? You ain't you ain't gotta know how fast the moon rotates and it's 365 and all that bullshit, nigga. I just want you to know enough. You feel me? Anyway. I'm going to go in. Um, baby mom took all the conversation. She always tell us something. So good she, she spent money for me. But nah, that damn child. I thought she took it. I hollered her. Uh-huh.